Hey, America. It's a lot of angry people out there today because Biden is real close to capturing the presidency. Understandably so. Because America is a land of dissatisfied people. It doesn't matter who's the president. It doesn't matter if Trump would have won. If Trump would have won, people would be dissatisfied. Biden wins, people would be dissatisfied. That's the way of America. Because America is not the land of Hotep. America is not the land of peace. America was rigged from the beginning. A lot of people right now are saying the election was rigged. And you know what? I realize after four years of living under Trump, I don't care if it was rigged. Now I'm learning to live with the reality of what America is, and you will too. You see, every basketball game is rigged. The mafia is involved. Betting is rigged. Everything is rigged. Why wouldn't the elections be rigged? And what are you mad for? You benefited from a rigged election four years ago. I'm going to tell you when the rigged elections really hit me hard when everything came home to the point was in 2001. When that 9-11 thing... How you doing, huh? Welcome back. Yeah, that 9-11 thing really messed me up. That um, that George Bush thing, it, it, it bothered me a lot. But that's when I realized the system was rigged and there's nothing you can do about it as a citizen. Unfortunately, um, people are drawing their lines in the sand and a lot of people are concerned about a civil war. Let me tell you something. War is a part of America. You just got to get used to it. You know what I mean? Just I hope that there's no um, lone wolves out there or, or stupid militia members and all of that. But it's the truth. The election was rigged. You know what I mean? And <laughs> hey. I'm not even saying Joe Biden was the best choice. I can only say this. Me personally, I'm against Trump and his form of leadership. That's me. I'm not so much for Joe Biden because let me, I, like I always explain to people, if a raccoon would have ran against Trump, I would have voted for the raccoon. You could put a, a brass knuckle to run against Trump, a television. You could put an inanimate object, a plant, a dog, a cat, a Chinese woman, a black man, anything for me would have been better than Trump. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. So I would have voted against them anyway. So I didn't vote for Biden. I just voted against Trump. Some people will say that's a play on words. I don't care. Again, you didn't care four years ago. So why should I care? You know what I mean? But yeah, you're going to have to live with the results. The courts are not going to overturn nothing in Trump's favor. The, as a matter of fact, the courts are actually ignoring Trump and denying his request because they are based upon fallacious arguments. Fallacious meaning fallacy. It's false. He's talking about for NBC had to cut him off in the middle of his rant. And then he started crying on national television. That's that's your boy. That's the example of leadership and strength that we have. No, no, no. America does not want Trump. Goodbye and good riddance. I just hope that we can move to a better, more powerful platform. I'm concerned for the future of the country only because I live here and my loved ones live here. But I'm going to be honest. America is not as important as you think it is. The most important place on the planet Earth right now and has always been and will always be is Africa. As long as there are humans on this planet... Africa will be the most important continent. And right now, China is running Africa. And I will say one good thing about Trump. I could say a couple of good things about Trump. But one thing I really did like about Trump, <clears throat> he stood up against China. I'll give him that. He stood up against China. Obama and all of them, Biden, they ain't going to stand up against China. You know, I don't know if these people, if China has these people in their pockets or whatever. But I like how Trump stood up against China. But anyway, China's running Africa. Africans don't, Africans don't even see the value in their land. Africans look at the land, the soil below them, and they see dirt. Europeans, Caucasians, Asians, they look at the soil of Africa and see money. So life is all about your perception. You know what I mean? What do you perceive when you look at the natural elements around you? Do you see climate change or do you believe climate change is a hoax? It's all a matter of beliefs. Live your life as best as you can. And I'm just glad that Trump is no longer the president. You know what I mean? People talking about um, 
the dead of voting. Listen, if your presidency is that bad that dead people got to come back and vote against you, then you have no argument. You know what I mean? If the dead can rise out of their grave. I mean, listen to how you sound, Trump followers. You know? But anyway, every election is rigged. Deal with it and get over it. Just like I had to deal with Trump for four years, you're going to have to deal with Biden for four years. You know what I mean? And listen, I would just love to have one minute with Biden. Just give me 60 seconds with him. There's a couple of things I'd love to say to him and a couple of questions I, I would like to ask him. You know what I mean? But there's no disillusion over here. The Democrats do not have me high on their agenda. They don't care about me or my reparations or education or are oh, the police shooting my people down? And neither do the Republicans. I don't care if Ice Cube got a promise from Donald Trump about $60 trillion for our community. One thing I know is that the Caucasian respects no contracts with the indigenous melanated people of Earth. Europeans, Caucasians do not respect contracts. So forget that stuff. Get it out of your head. Unless you got them at gunpoint, they're not going to honor those contracts. So Ice Cube, forget what Trump promises you. And I'm not looking for no promises from Biden. Ain't none of them. Trump nor Biden said, yo, we're going to talk to the police department and have them stop shooting your people down in the street like dogs. Right? That's the most important thing is life. Forget your little economic package and your stimulus. The most important thing is life. You got people in the cities languishing with no jobs. I came down here and marched down to the south to try to start a farming project. Now, whether or not it's successful, whether or not it starts, listen, I put I put one foot in front of the other. Me and my lady, we started a company, an LLC. Right now, we could if we could raise the funds, we could get thousands and thousands of acres of land and put people to work. But I did the work. The fruits, the enjoyment of the fruits and the results is not up to me. I put myself in a position to be a servant for the better, the higher cause, and I'm still here, and I'm still ready to go, but at least I did something, whether it succeeds or not, people sitting up in them cities complaining about Trump and Biden, it ain't gonna be no hope for you when you can't eat, when you're not somewhere where you could grow some food, it doesn't matter who, if you got a red um, sticker in your window or a blue sticker in your window, you can't eat blue stickers, you can't eat gunpowder, but if you have some land, so, you know, people return to the land. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to advocate returning to the land because it's the only time when you have a little semblance of self-reliance. Self-reliance is going to be very important because it almost looks like, you know, we're borderline in a depression. We don't know how this pandemic thing is going to play out. Another thing, people talk about mandatory vaccines. Listen, there is no vaccine yet. There's experimental vaccines and neither Trump nor Biden has officially committed to mandatory vaccines. Now, if there's something going on over their head with the elites, I could understand that. But stop saying that Trump or Biden has a mandatory vaccine when there is no vaccine. 90% of the stuff you're hearing on the internet is a bunch of bogus conspiracy theories. John F. Kennedy is still dead. And when he died, he was a Democrat, not a Republican. I don't care if he went to a Trump party. Trump went to Epstein parties. Nobody's talking about that. They saying um, Biden and them are drinking baby blood. What you think? Trump wasn't messing with little girls on Epstein Island? You think Trump never did spirit cooking? All of them are dirty. The left wing, the right wing is the same bird. Y'all heard it over and over again. I'm not talking about political parties no more. I'm talking about self-reliance and independence. You know what I mean? So that is my public service announcement to the people of America. And goodbye and good riddance to Donald Trump. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and you could cash at me. Dollar sign, son, S U N, man, M A N, patu, P A T U. Not like how it's spelled on the YouTube channel. Son, man, patu, with dollar sign. Cash App. 
better off donating your money to me than to Biden or Trump because all you're going to do is get another four years of promises. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Trump, um, Biden just ignores us. I'm not going to be surprised, but I'm still glad Trump is out of office because, so here's one last thing, right? Corruption begins at the top. If you look at a religious organization, hint, hint, and there's corruption or there's racism in that religious organization, you have to look at the top. What did the leader teach? What did the leader tolerate? And if there's corruption in a country, you have to look at the leadership at the top. So Trump is not the kind of guy I would bring a classroom full of students and say, that's our president. He's your role model. This is the same guy that was teasing handicapped people. All right. So Trump is definitely not a choice for sane minded individuals. Listen, I'm gonna let y'all roll. You know what I'm saying? I know people got a short attention span and you're still trying to check out the electoral college. Good luck to everybody on this planet Earth. And I hope that things could get better and that intellect and compassion Wisdom and mercy will be the rule of the day. But if you don't want to go that route and you want to go the violent route, just understand that Americans, we ain't going to lay down. You know what I'm saying? There's more guns and, and ammo in America than on any country on the planet Earth. You know what I mean? Shout out to all my real people who've been rolling with me from day one. And I also want to give a shout out to Brian Glaze Gibbs. I've been watching a lot of his videos lately and, you know, the man has had a past that he's trying to, you know, come to terms with. And I can only honor him and I respect him for telling people about the stories, the old street stories about the crack era and how if he could change, anybody could change. Yo, I wish everybody the best, you know what I mean? And, yo, just do the right thing, all right, y'all? I didn't, and don't ask me no questions about my beard. I just temporarily shaved it off. Every once in a while, you got to try something different. You know what I mean? But I'll let it grow back, you know, <laughs> here and there. Got to switch it up. Everything's balanced, right? As always, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.